So three quarters of an inch thick, take one, stack them onto the other one, and you're in business, all right? Don't worry about it being thick and heavy. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do today is make sort of a, a spherical form, which is excellent exercise, training. Uh, that's probably one of the most difficult things you're gonna make. So what you have to do is anticipate the fact that you're gonna blow this way out and, once again, leave that wall thicker. So since you're already working with a thick wall, hey, it all adds up. All right, so let me get by you here just a minute. Um, so this bottom piece is what we call a wet section. So this is two collars of clay that have been added together and blown out. So the minute you try to blow something out, what are you doing? You're actually getting your form to be shorter, right? Because that clay's gotta come from somewhere. It's not just being stretched out. So your thing's getting shorter. Um, but this thing that I'm showing you today is an excellent way of getting this thing to be what? A continuous curvature, okay? Uh, you know, any other way that you do this, uh, you know, I've seen people like make two bowls and stack them together, but you know, you've got to get that so that it's just right. So unless you're using some kind of a, a template, it's really going to be difficult to do that. Anyway, so that's the advantage of this. This is what's known as a wet section, where you just make the two, stack one together, and you're in business. This addition here is a dry section. Hey, dry section meaning what? Uh, leather hard. So I showed you how to do this as my last demo, where we did the compote, a raised bowl, and you just stack the two together, slip and score them, and make them look like they're all thrown in one piece. Okay, so that's what's known as a dry section. And what's nice about that is that you don't need necessarily continuous curvature, all right? The minute this wall changes direction, you can do a dry piece there, all right? Hiding that seam is just not a challenge at all. It should be pretty easy. So yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff. Um, once you've attach two of these, you've stacked two of them, what's to keep you from doing three or four or five or whatever, right? You can make something as tall as you are using this technique. What you have to do though is sort of start to finish up the bottom of the form because you're not gonna be able to reach it anymore, you know, depending on how long your arm is. So that's gotta be pretty much finished by the time you're adding this stuff up here and blowing it out. The other thing is this needs to set up. So you're acting as a transitional kind of a, uh, a vertical form, right? The bottom is starting to get leather hard, and then it's a little harder, and then it's a little soft. By the time you get to the top, it's soft enough so you can just stack stuff off there and continue shaping it. Okay, so that's just a matter of having access to a wheel and basically leaving something there, sitting there for a few days as you're doing this stacking. So any questions about that theoretically? Yes? All right.